All right, hi everybody. I'm Ryan Mazur for Popular Mechanics, and I'm here at bestproducts.com. Hey Where? everyone, my name is Stefan, and I'm the tech editor of bestproducts.com. And today we're going to chat about Samsung Galaxy S7 Active. So the Samsung Galaxy S7 Active is an AT&T ex exclusive device, and as its name suggests, it's a more rugged version of the pretty popular Samsung Galaxy S7. In addition to being waterproof, it's also made uh, to withstand drops, pretty heavy drops, and it also has a shatterproof display. Not completely shatterproof, but it's shatter resistant, as in tougher than that of the regular Samsung Galaxy S7. It also has larger battery, as well as a dedicated button for outdoor activities, which, which once it's placed right here on the side and once you press the button you get access to a compass you can turn on flashlight real quick there's also a barometer as well as weather and you can customize all those another cool thing to notice is basically the difference in the construction just notice that this is a hard polycarbonate shell that will withstand abuse much better than the regular Samsung Galaxy S7 which is made of glass and metal so this one even though the regular one is also water resistant you probably don't want to drop this one without a case as opposed to that one which can take plenty of beating another important thing is because the phone is designed for outdoor personalities people who spend a lot of time away from power outlets and stuff it has a larger battery 4000 milliamps as opposed to 3000 for the regular S7 that's like a good one third increase so depending on your usage scenarios you can eke out like two days on a single charge if you're careful other than that specs are identical you get high resolution 5.1 inch display fingerprint sensor excellent 12 megapixel camera with wonderful uh, low light perf performance the there's also the heart rate sensor that's built in and support for all Samsung services like Samsung Pay and whatnot. And the most important thing is that we can drop the phone. So we can try it first, a regular drop because we're about to test how actually tough it is. So this is probably the most common way people drop their phones. You kind of try to put it in your pocket and kind of miss the pocket or back or anything and it goes down like that. Let's check right now. It's fine. The heart just skipped a beat when you did that. <laughs> yeah, then we can... I'm not comfortable with Oh, that. hi Melanie. Hi. Then we'll go to something maybe like a little bit taller as in like that, which most phones will not enjoy. like that yeah. out of nowhere yeah. that's the name of this place Absolutely. Look at that. Well, how oh that, that is and it looks so sleek too now that we're there I know one more thing that's important about the Galaxy S7 you can get it in camel color as in green badass camel <laughs> you know so we have the gold one but the camel is much more badass and now that Melanie is right here and we have a cornhole in our office right here we are going to try and play some cornhole with the samsung galaxy s7 active i guess i'll go on that side i'll try to suppress my anxiety first we're <laughs> going to actually test the cornhole if it works this is a regular cornhole bag it's fine oh it's fine and now we're going to toss the phone before we start abusing it, there are a few things that I want everyone to know. Please, don't try this at home. <laughs> uh, the, most important, the most important thing to consider when thrashing phones around is the battery. Batteries are volatile. If you drop it numerous times, the battery can get damaged. It can catch fire or, you know, basically bad things can happen to it. The same goes with cracked displays. If you Crack the display of your phone, take it to a repair center because you might have damaged the battery and you don't want it to light up in your back or worse.
course, why are you carrying it in your pocket? Anyway, so in that serious stuff, <laughs> you're a great professional. I'm totally tossing this into the core hole. Right. Go for it. Oh, the explosion goes. All right. One, two. Yep. Yep. yep, we're unscathed. Just press the middle button and it should be fine. It's working. Go ahead. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> we're allowed to break it. Yeah. Kind of feels Nothing. It's still nothing. It just feels it wrong. So I'd say so far it's Friday night proof, which is good. <laughs> that hurts my that tire. Last one, best one? Whoa. Wow. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, still good. Go ahead. Good to go. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, good. <laughs> that wasn't even a point. Yeah, still nothing. You want to do it? You want to do it? Okay, go ahead. This is Patrick, everyone. He's going to throw the pumps. He's a corporal champion in the office. You can see his nail right here. Oh, yeah. Right there. Right there. Board. Not there. Got it. Go ahead. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> No one has scored yet, but most of them have cracked. Nothing. Still nothing? Nope. It's the best thing I've done. Alright, Mom, let's do one more crack. <laughs> slash all week. Four rounds. Put some ferocity behind it. I mean, it. nothing. And not even like a little, like. No, not even a scratch. That's pretty nuts for me. You know? Wow. So there's nothing on the phone, no cracks on the display. There are no even scratches, I mean, you can huh. take a look. Which is pretty impressive. But... And also really good for this, the rest of the segment. Absolutely. <laughs> and we're not finished yet, ladies and gentlemen. What we're gonna do next is... Danny has some hot liquid right here. Oh no, my connection. Well, hold on, sorry, sorry. Good? Sorry, no. Sorry, everybody, this is... It's okay. Fault, Your phone got scared watching it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Don't worry though, no caffeine was harmed in this. I <laughs> used, de I used some, decaf uh, for the test. We have oh, some decaf coffee you. because no we're caffeine. saving the <laughs> caffeinated one for <laughs> the best product staff. <laughs> and what are they partnering with anybody, Samsung, to for this phone? So no, the phone is exclusively developed by Samsung, okay. but they partner with ATT actually. Oh. So it's only available on ATT. You cannot buy it from another carrier, which is kind of a bummer if you think about it, because it's a pretty awesome phone. But, you know, at and nice for now. And how do you feel about like, cause this is your first time seeing the phone, right? Yeah, yeah, you, I haven't seen this one. And how is it like weight wise? Like, do you think it's like easy to carry around or, th um, I mean, with, throw? This is without the case, obviously, yeah. as we've been knocking it around. Um, and yeah, it has some heft to it, but it's still like super That's sleek. Nice. Yeah. And if you're used to your like iPhone 6, the kind of bigger screen there, um, I don't see really any difference in like, Cause I can't you get know, over the, yeah. and feel, you know? The display is amazing on that. Yeah, it's, it's really a nice. quad HD display which is 200, uh, 2560 by 1440 1, pixels. That's pretty sharp. Yeah. You know, that's what it goes by. She that's some good it's stuff. interesting that, like, you have all these, like, rugged features. Sorry. Oh, yeah. No, no. <laughs> it's just, it's just great that we have all these rugged features that we're not compromising on the, uh, oh, the quality of the screen or anything. Yes, that's, that's actually a pretty important point. All right, we so we're just throwing it through uh, like at cornholes. Cornhole, and it survived the cornhole. Okay. Great, and it's another fun. another cool thing that Melanie just mentioned about rugged phones. There are other rugged phones on the market, but most of them are pretty crappy. As in, their hardware is low end and not very pretty to look at. As opposed to the S Seven Active, which is actually a high end phone. You don't need to compromise on display camera processor and most important battery life to have a good device anyway back to the fun stuff we have some hot decaffeinated coffee which we're going to dip the phone in okay oh my god it's just a little bit biscotti <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's fine i'm just gonna shake it a little bit like that see if it's gonna get into the port yeah Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna pour it in the audio 
of Jeff to. This okay, is, it's okay, yeah. it's decaf. This is a 2016 horror movie. Like, <laughs> this is the new birds. Yeah. Fun <laughs> stuff. So as we're soaking the foam, we can talk about its <laughs> price. It costs about 800 bucks on law, uh, I mean, without contract, but you can buy it on low monthly payments with AT&T Next, as in $26 a month, roughly. <laughs> and not have to buy the whole thing. So, hot liquid. It looks fine. Samsung has a cool feature called always on display. And it's always on. And it works. Wow. I can tell you the time, show notifications, and all that. And we're still working, I mean. But hot liquid is what a, what a great feature of the phone that we can dunk it in that. Absolutely, you can dunk it in like, any like, liquid. Like we've, always, like we've always wanted. Absolutely, <laughs> mud as well works. <laughs> so overall, and you, you cannot scare this device with liquid. Because your phone deserves coffee too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Coffee is the best thing. Is, is that their new slogan? <laughs> Absolutely. Your phone Great. deserves right. coffee. Ultra it has to wake up before you to make that alarm go off. Now, <laughs> we have some cold liquid right there, which we're going to try and just wash the coffee off. So right there. Sorry about the splash. Wash it a little bit. Oh my that God. Was fine. You can't scare that. Like there's nothing more horrifying than like a phone dropping into like a toilet, you know? So like yes. in the event you can drop your phone, happens. you can drop your phone in the top in the toilet, ladies and gentlemen, and it's totally gonna survive it. Like you're still gonna have to take it out. You're gonna have to take it out. Yeah, you're that's clean it off. Yeah. Keep no that in bag mind. of rice needed. <laughs> Speaking of waterproofing, it's it's important to mention that the S7 Active, like the regular one actually, has IP68 rating. That means that it can spend up to half an hour in up to five feet of water in depth. So, swimming pool, it's fine, it's good. Nice. You know, reading in the bathtub. And could you, also. like, operate it while it's in the water? Uh, yeah. You can, but the touch... touch. I mean, some features might work, but keep in mind, the touch screen is not designed to work on the water because the water drops actually affect it. So it will survive, but it's not made for that. Or you can take does, a selfie post while Yeah, does yeah, the camera? Uh, the camera will work, yes, but still taking a picture. Yeah, I mean, it works, as you can see. see? Yeah, we can well switch for a selfie. So liquid is not a problem. We decided to give it another go. I'm gonna dry it off a little bit. So far, no scratches. Everything is fine. You know, the phone works. No cracks on the screen. Just no a delay wet. in like no delay. Nothing. Nothing. It's crazy. We have a Jenga right here, which consists of pretty solid wooden blocks. And those are, you know, they're reasonably heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Another new feature. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right. So so far, what we found out is the Samsung Galaxy S7 can survive drops. You know, of all kinds. It can play cornhole. You know, potentially even you know, try to you know, kick it around. Some football. Yeah. Don't move barefoot because you might hurt yourself. No. So. No. Didn't wear the proper footwear. <laughs> so. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's still fine. I mean, nothing really. Usually, the screen is the most important part. On most phones, the screen gives out first. Everybody's can 
The rest can survive with the screen you grab. This one is fine. So is there any point in getting a case for it at all? No. You think? No, getting really? getting a case for this particular phone, you don't want to get a case for it. It's kind of doesn't make sense. So now we have one more thing that we should try. Which I don't think the regular phone will survive. We have a staircase right here. Let's go. It'll be such an unhappy ending if this survives by the end of the second. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll break the staircase. This one is great for your aggression, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have a cathartic segment. Our emergency exit right here. We're going to go around and take over the staircase. Oh no! Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it disconnected again. Oh no, sorry, sorry. Oh no. Of course. It disconnected again. I have a bad signal on my phone. No problem. Sorry, I'm sorry. Just... Yeah, we have... yeah, yeah. And it's good uh, because the connection is weak, but best products is to make sure you check for humans before throwing it down any stairs. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Absolutely. Always <laughs> be mindful of the people around you when you're playing, tossing phones around because this can really hurt someone. Yeah. And someone was asking, like, because I know you talked about the, uh, like, the caution before, like, someone said, like, you shouldn't hit it with, like, Mm -hmm. And okay, uh, hey everybody, I'm Ryan Mazur. Uh, we have a part one and a part two for this. Uh, the signal went out, uh, dropped those two times, so hopefully we'll be good for now. If you're just joining us, I'm at bestproducts.com, and uh, and I'm here with Stefan, who is trying to break uh, this phone. Uh, Stefan, you want to like give a, give a one more, hopefully, quick introduction to yourself and what you're doing? All right, my name is Stefan. I'm the tech editor at bestproducts.com. This is Melanie, who's also from Best Products. Hey, Melanie. So we've been abusing the Samsung Galaxy S7 Active, we threw it around a core hole, dropped it many times, dipped it in decaf coffee, then cold water. Even oh my god, disconnected again, I don't, okay, well, uh, I want to get this, but... Do you want to switch it? Yeah, you can switch, uh, come over here, because I... Sure, sure, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. Alright. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so far the phone has been handling yeah. it like a champ. And now let's do, because now, since we have some time, some questions from the, some more viewers. You dropped it in coffee and water. Do you think it could last anything? Someone's wondering about milk. Oh yeah, milk's fine. You can dunk it in milk also, like anything. Hmm. So it's, it's kind of cool for like someone that is like, like that's going like hiking, especially in the summer now, like everyone's doing like camping it's trips. It's amazing. And you know what I also love about that part? As a, as a self, uh, as a self-proclaimed germaphobe, what I enjoy about this phone is that you can wash it. Like you oh, go home, just soap it up. You know, that's true. You just wash it and it's all clean. Because you know phones typically have a lot of germs on them. Because you, you're on the subway, yeah. you know, you touch stuff all day, then you phone, then you go to bed, you're still with your phone. It's, ugh. it's pretty bad. Is there anything that you recommended? Uh, well, uh, regular phones? Clean regular phones with? Uh, this is a great question. So, what I do with my phones is I buy the special wipes. And we're back. We're back? Yes. Yeah, yeah, continue as you were, sir. So they're wiped this on Amazon by a company called Pante. Mm -hmm. And they have antibacterial solution. Another thing that you can do is you can get just regular Lysol. Put a little bit on the bounty. You can wipe the device. And it works pretty well. Nice. Are we good? Yeah, before this uh, potential finale, do you want to give everybody a recap on, on all that the phone has been through? Absolutely. So we have the Galaxy S7 Active. We threw it around many times. We dropped it multiple times. We dropped the Django on top of it. They dunked it in hot liquid, cold water, played for a hole with it, and we kicked it a few times. And now we have this pretty hardcore staircase. This one, I, yeah. I mean, I'm, this one I'm not sure about, but we're gonna try it. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. We're good? Yeah. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> That's why I take the elevator. <laughs> Still good? It's fine. I was scratched. It's fine. Wow. It's fine, really. It, oh, so it got a couple of nicks on the wow. plastic, you know, which is something that's normal. 
but the overall functionality of the phone is not changed in any way. Responsive, everything works. Selfie mode still intact. Selfie mode still intact. The shortcut. I went out again. I feel like it's a, maybe a false you know, right here so anyway. You're looking good. We should do one last one. One last one. Last and how, Ryan from Best Products will join you for this last one too. I mean, from Popular Mechanics. Yes. Yes. Uh, where is this last one? Oh, we can just try to smash it. Great. Right. So and we can even smash. Would you want to smash it back in the home base? Yeah. That's cool. That sounds great. Perfect. Home base. Better internet. I'm scared of other areas. <laughs> walk through our <laughs> destruction. <laughs> so we're back to the home base. Wait, sorry, one, one sec. Good? And uh, yep, and we're back. Hopefully maybe this is the finale. Yes, we're back to the home base. We threw it down the stairs. It's fine. It got a couple of marks, but the functionality has remained unchanged, which is pretty impressive. Awesome. And now what we're gonna do is one last thing, let's say we we'll pretend you're watching. We we'll pretend you're watching a game, and it's like it's like the last minute of the game, like the last second, and your team had a chance to win, and it didn't, and you're just very angry, and you know adrenaline rush, and no, and you're holding your phone, and what do you do? Probably just want, you want to smash it. So this is what we're gonna do. You guys ready? One, two, three. Oh, solid. Melanie check. Oh, got green. some. Uh... Huh? Nothing. Oh, wow. Just a little crack here. Oh, but it's oh. so hard. It's fine. It's starting to give though. It mm. gave a little. Mm. It gave a little. So, but that was it. Just a little crack. The actual display. It's fine. So it's remember for a New York usable. sports fan. Am I feeling yeah. like yeah. you're rooting against the phone? Mm. All right. I think Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Otherwise, no, no structural damage. You know, it hasn't bent. I don't think you can bend it. It's fine. Which is pretty impressive. Wow. I don't think it will survive that one. So there we are. Samsung Galaxy S7 Active, guys. It's like the toughest phone. Uh. <laughs> Thank you all for stopping by. Uh, we'll see you what next a good time. Phone. All right. <laughs> Wonderful phone, yeah. Thanks for checking in. Thanks, yeah. thanks you for doing this. Bye, everybody. All right.